Okay, donc aujourd'hui c'est Inventory Evaluation. Okay. C'est quoi Inventory? Okay. Inventory, c'est normalement on appelle Stock. Okay. Stock. C'est quoi Stock? veut dire si dans un business, nous avons buying and selling of goods, alors c'est normal qu'il y ait ce stock. Okay. Stock of goods. Alors tous les euh, l'année an, financière, nous supposons peut évaluer le stock. Okay? Comment nous pouvons évaluer ce stock-là? Nous l'appelons inventory. How we value the inventory? We have a certain rule for that. The rule is that we should value at the lower of cost price or net realizable value. Okay? Nous pouvons là-dedans, c'est quoi lower of cost price? Cost price, c'est le prix que nous payons quand nous achetons the goods, the value of the inventory. The net realizable value is what we call the market value. But if we have to repair the inventory, okay, it has been damaged or we have to repair it, so we are going to take the market price, the selling, the sale price of the inventory minus the selling cost. That means the repair cost that we have to put the goods into a sellable condition. Okay? Donc, the net realizable value, we will we'll get it by taking the selling price of the inventory minus the selling cost to put the goods into a sellable condition. Then we get the net realizable value. Now you have to value the inventory. It should be at the lower. Which one is lower? The cost price or the NOV? Okay, this is how we value inventory. Nous vous faisons des questions euh, juste après ça slide-là. Nous faisons des questions depuis papier, the exam paper, post exam paper of Cambridge of November 2020, paper one. This type of questions come mostly from MCQ. The multiple choice questions and it can also come as a structured question and paper two okay so you should be ready for that number how we value the inventory we take the number of items in the inventory times the unit price of the items inventory valuation is done at the end of each financial year financial year is the year that we do the accounts Okay, we take the example if the financial year n is 31st December, so we take 1st January to 31st December is the financial year. Okay, inventory is done at the end of each financial year in order to assess the operating performance to find out the profit or loss. Okay, and the financial position of the business along with others of the along with others of the business through the balance sheet is what we call the statement of financial position. Okay, the main part is a rule. Okay, the value at the lower of cost price or net realizable value. Okay, now we took some the question. I don't know if you're able to see the question. Okay, let me give it from the past paper. Is it okay? Take this question paper is from Cambridge paper one. Okay, the multiple choice. I'm going to look at the number 19. Niamal sells two products, okay, product J and product H. The following information is available about his inventory at the end of the financial year. Okay, we have the product J and product H have been given the number of units. We have been given the cost price per unit and the net realizable value. Okay. It was found that 100 units of product J were damaged and were unsaleable. That means 100 units of product J, we can't sell it. So it has no value. These types of, uh, of product should not be valued, okay, so has zero value. What was the total value of Niamh's inventory? 
So inventory is two part, the product J and product H. Okay. And we know that the valuation should be at the lower of cost price or the NOV, net risable value. So we have to work out uh, the questions. And this is how I'm going to work out. Okay, I work out here. Okay, we have product J and product H. If you see the question, it says 1000 units of product J, but 100 of them are damaged. So if I'm going to do the workings, I will have to minus the 100. 1000 minus 100. So we get here 900 units of product J. Okay, now what's the cost price of product J? We have the price per unit is $2. Okay. $2 per unit. So here we go to 900 times $2, our total cost price become 1800. Okay, this is for cost price of product J. Now, if we get the net realizable value for product J, you, you take 900 Okay, 1,000 minus 100 units which are damaged and cannot be sold, so it has no value. 1,000 minus 100 makes 900 units. You multiply by the NOV, the net risable value, $2.50. Okay, $2.50 takes you 2,250. This is my NOV, net risable value. Now, if I'm going to value product J, the inventory for J, I will take the lower, the lowest of the cost or the NOV. If you see here, the lowest is cost 1800. So my valuation for product J will be 1800. Okay, now we come to product H. Product H have 800 units. Okay, all the products are saleable, 800 units. If I'm going to do the cost price, 800 times. $1.50 makes you $1,200 total for cost price. 800 times $1.50, $1,200 cost price. Now I'm going to do all the calculations for NOV. Okay, we have the net realizable value. I take the NOV is $1.20, $1.20, so it gives 800 times 1.20 gives you $960. This is my net realizable value, 960. Now I'm going to compare the cost and the NOV, whichever is lower. Okay, 1200 is lower or 960. If I see it's 960 the lower. So product H will be valued at net realizable value. So my valuation for H will be inventory H is $960. So the total inventory uh, for the financial year end, that means my closing inventory, will be 1800 plus 960. This gives the total of $2,760. Okay, this will be my answer for this question. So answer will be A. That's the total value of Niamal's inventory. So here it is for inventory valuation.